Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about good features to track. This function is very similar to the corner Harris and corner mean eigenvalue functions because it also finds, it also detects the corners inside an image. What it's saying, it says uh, strong corners is detecting. Why it's saying like that? Because this is the optimized version of these two corner detection functions. There are some advantages of these functions written in here and uh, as a result is taking some parameters for example the first of all the image mat type is taking 8 bit or 32 bit floating type of image but the image should be single channel image then it's giving us the output in here the mat output is giving but it's not set here the type of this output we can see in the code part it, i don't know why they didn't tell because in the previous ones it said us um the, the the type of the output 32 float type for example but in here uh they didn't tell i don't know let's continue and after that the these two function these two parameters are the most important parameters this is the maximum corners how many uh, corners you want to get at the output you are defining in here for example if you say 10 it's gonna give you 10 output but in some cases it's not gonna give you 10 corners uh, we will see in the code part more detail but you can uh, remember this uh, this is gonna give you the number of corners which you want to detect if you get 10 you will get 10 corners you can remember like that but actually it's different than that this is a threshold level we can say uh, in the corner Harris function also we already talked about the uh, accuracy value we talk in here uh, there is different math here but the the same logic is also a threshold level threshold value so according to the this value is detecting the corners above this level is saying these are the strongest corners below of this uh, level is saying these are low level corners okay this is the minimum distance uh, def defining the distance between the corners i mean uh, it's is determining the the, the corners distance between each other it cannot detect so close so you increase this is the pixel wise by the way if you define this 10 the radius of each corners is gonna be 10 pixel is defining okay and these two these four parameters are we already talked about corner Harris and corner mean eigenvalue and these are not really important comparing to these three parameters so I'm gonna skip this for parameter and let's pass to the code part in here um, I'm gonna use some images in here I already have I'm gonna use these images as my input first of all we need a single channel image so I'm converting my input image to grayscale one channel image after that we can directly call our function if we go to the function in here you are gonna see the default values of last four function is like this use Harris detector is false if you make it true you need to specify also k value which is default defaultly 0.04 and block size and the mask which we already talked about these parameters in the corner Harris video and uh, we need to focus these three parameters which are the most important one max corners quality level and minimum distance and uh, first of all we are giving our input image and after that we need to give as output which is corners and i'm gonna give my output which i will get my corners then the maximum corners you want to get let's say 10 i wanna and the quality level let's start with 0.01 it's a double value and the minimum distance let's start with 50 pixel uh, the type of this even it's not written in the documentation it's uh, 32 flood 32 flood channel 2 type of um, image if I am wrongly um, writing CV 32 this one yeah this is the type of this output uh, how I'm understanding by writing 
to the console type of that output like this and it's gonna give me the type of that 13 13 represent the this one if you are uh, interested with the types you can check my math types video and there is a table in there if you check the index 13 belongs to this type okay this is important because you will handle accordingly after type maybe we need to check also size the size is 1 times 10 so this is only one column output is gonna be always two channel because one channel the first layer is gonna be uh, including the first I mean the x axis of the corners and the second layer is gonna be y axis of the corner then the 10 it means because we specified 10 maybe it has it has found more than 10 let's say 100 I wanna corners but it's not giving you 100 because uh, according to the this quality level I cannot find more than 48 corners so it's gonna give you 48 corners output and after that let's continue now I need to uh, see my corners in the output let's back to 10 again make a for loop and how many corners I have I need to consider the row number because if I write this always uh, maybe in some cases it will mistaken it will lower so it will give you error so I need to define corners that rows how many row you have it means how many corners you are detecting and after that for each corner I wanna draw a circle in the image First of all, out. I wanna draw to this output to see more accurate, more, more representable. The points. This is the important point. Um, to make clear, maybe I need to define here. First of all, x value of corners. How I'm gonna get it? Corners. Dot add since it's two channel vector two float type i need to i need to declare and after that i will get that point by um the first one is gonna be the uh, row and the second one since one column we can put zero index and this is gonna be the first layer this represent the first layer which is x value the same one for the y value just the different the last one the second channel the index is one and okay this is y value <coughs> x value and y value and the point is done uh, the radius let's start with five scalar let's make favorite color yellow thickness no need thickness fill inside and um i think this gonna draw our corners let's see yeah you see is drawing one two three four five six seven eight nine which is the tenth one one two three four five um okay here the tenth is here so there is 10 corners is drawing um what if what if i'm increasing my corners from 10 to 50 so it's not able to detect also 50 let's back to right to see also corners that size yeah in here is finding for the eight corners but you defining 50 so two is it cannot detect let's see the here as you can see the distance between corners cannot be bigger than the minimum distance we are giving 50 right now 50 pixel if you check each of them for example you can check the coordinates left and below you already learned i think this one 
and the y-axis 376 this one and here 282 which is um, some, uh, bigger than 50 so there is no problem but if you increase this one it's not gonna detect 48 maybe 20 it will detect 22 because you are giving minimum distance so it cannot detect this corner because it's already detected this and if I detect this it's bigger than minimum it's smaller than minimum distance so I'm not able to detect these corners so minimum distance just arranging the distance between corners the, the limit I can say let's back to 50 again and uh, in here you're getting 48 if you decrease the accuracy from 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 maybe it will detect 50 uh, so you decreasing you are getting more corners so it's normal sorry so if you increase it you will get 43 instead of 48 corners so if you make it 0 0.8 maybe you will get 0 21 let's make 1 so you are getting 0 0 0.9 you are getting 7 corners 7 the strongest corners you are getting in here um, let's try different images let's try the B in here you also able to detect sometimes it's mistaken because it's already the detect all of the corners so because you are requesting 50 corners so it's detecting which is more close to the uh, corner so it's also detecting this if you decrease it not 50 but um let's say 30 um, then it's not gonna detect these parts it's gonna detect the strongest most strongest one or other option you can increase the quality level let's try C or oh, no C T maybe um, what's the name T.png for example in this Lena image it's saying these are the corners Let's back to 50. I believe there are other corners. Here is detecting. Here and some other points is detecting. And for example, I want five corners and I want really the strongest one. Let's see. It's only detecting here according to this algorithm. It's detecting. It's saying these are the strongest corners. And lastly, let's try this one. Y.jpg and okay let's increase to 550 again 0 0.8 okay so in this image also it's detecting corners as like this yeah i think in this video we are clear we already learned about what this function does and uh see you in the next videos